Hello, hello to all. Here today in the tier 8 premium Japanese aircraft carrier Kaga. On the map shards, the mode is Domination, and we are in 8 to 10 matchmaking, which puts us as bottom tier against an enemy Lexington. Enemy team also has a Yamato, Iowa, Massachusetts, Richelieu, and Bismarck. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Henri Four, Zhao, Smolensk, and Gearing. So, single DD matchup. Outside of that, Smolensk obviously irritating to deal with Puerto Rico, with this, in spite of having worse AA than the Alaska, more or less. Still thorny for a tier 8 carrier with tier 7 aircraft such as myself. And then the Iowa and Massachusetts obviously are targets we want to stay away from. In terms of bullying, we want to bully the Rochelle, the Bismarck, and potentially the Yamato and Zhao, should they put themselves into a position to be bullied. Spawning just between B and C, gonna move myself a bit back on this map, thanks to the fairly medium to small size of shards, and scout with my rocket planes. There's only one gearing to go after with the rocket planes this time, so they are fairly expendable. So just taking my time, admiring my zeros, much obliged. I mean, I didn't even drop you a fighter, but okay. I'm gonna take a look, found the gearing, Swing, or I have to arm while swinging into the attack, thanks to having only just now seen him. Early hit for just about 3,000. On the first pass, broke his engine. He's not repairing. And he's fairly alone now. Second hit for 7 out of 8 rockets, and almost perfect Kaga rocket strike for 5k and a fire. That will prompt a damage control. And this time I'm gonna pop forward, cover the Grozzi with a fighter, and attack the gearing as he enters into B Cup. Now he has to know that the Grozzi is there, since the cap's sticking, and no other ship could get into the cap in time. Surprised the enemy Lexington is not looking for him with his rocket planes, but he appears to have either loaded slowly or just not been ready. So I gave the Gros Boy in a significant hit point lead early, but he needs to be careful of that Puerto Rico. And the Gearing Torps, uh oh. Uh oh, looks like he took a torpedo. Yep. He was too bold. So I know he's about here, and that is the end of the story of my Grozovoy. But seven, six planes left. Honestly not worth sticking around, so just gonna evacuate these and relaunch. My Grozovoy obviously dispatched. American Smoke is gonna keep him safe for a while. There's a vulnerable Zhao in a pretty bad spot. Also in Massachusetts with the gearing. I think I'll go after... Well, I was considering going after the Zhao. Now I guess it leaves me Puerto Rico and maybe gearing if I can at least venture over and check to see if he's left his smoke. There's a small one behind him, however, which means Bismarck might well be the best target. The fact that I'm not detected with my large detection radius on the D4Y Suses suggests to me that he's still in his smoke screen. The tier 7 Suse, of course, is the D4Y3, a later model with a radial engine rather than the inline engine of the D4Y1, 1s and 2s that you find on the Ryuho at tier 6 carrying the APDBs. This is of course also the stock plane of the Shokaku when you first get her. Circling about, hit the Bismarck with three bombs but failed to score a fire, someone else scored a fire, and he launched a fighter so I'm gonna have to be quick about this. Drop the bombs right as it tags onto me. Further four hits for another 7,000, not too bad. But even as my uh, allies dispatch the Puerto Rico, we are still down. Or dispatch not the Puerto Rico, he just repositioned. 
dispatch the enemy, let's just say. We are still down quite a bit, lost another ship. Teammates being very, very exceptionally useless. Bismarck continuing to burn from whatever lit him, set him alight, but I cannot guarantee that he's going to die. He's still ticking for now. And he does get finalized. My Puerto Rico going around the long way, making himself as worthless as humanly possible. Already four. In the meantime, let's see how you want to respond. He knows he's air spotted, but my planes are exceptionally stealthy, which gives me time to kind of get the jump onto him. Couldn't quite get the lead angle properly. So as a result, the one torpedo that does connect is shorted. Enemy drops a fighter, but it's gonna... This is gonna be the final strike anyway. Any excess planes outside of the four making the attack are just here to make sure I have enough health to execute it. Looks like I'm gonna land one to two torpedoes here. You can see those fast Japanese torpedoes putting torpedoes onto the target. Nice clean four torpedo strike, and the Massachusetts finishes them off with another attack. The Iowa is now quite clearly a nice isolated target. Don't want anything to do with that Massachusetts B and Smolensk cluster. We trade back a little bit, but you can see based on the positioning and the map control that we are in a fairly precarious position. I was in a fairly good, fairly good spot, he can't really maneuver. So this is a fairly good target for me to hit. He's fixed his position somewhat, but he's still going to be almost perfectly straight, so I want to take advantage of that moment in time when he's vulnerable. His fighter also just expired from the looks of it. I have to make sure I lead properly, don't want to end up like that. First hit against the Henri IV. He's turning in, which is the proper response, but I led enough to score two torpedo hits, touching the intervening Smolensk AA aura, trying to dodge out on Flak, but unable to do so. We'll have to drop early. Switch over to high explosive dive bombers, hoping for a flood on that follow-up torpedo strike. And indeed, we do score a flood and hit all three of the torpedoes that we managed to get into the water. He's healing and he damage controlled. There's a Massachusetts and an Iowa there, so this is going to prompt a slingshot attack. Now I'm going to have to do a little bit of turning, so I'm going to get closer than normal. So use the minimap, steering the, the minimap, turning, turning, turning. I want a nice straight target, so four aircraft to make the attack with the actual package, and four to give me an HP buffer on the way in, and we score a fire and four bomb hits. There's our first dot onto the Iowa. He's pushing away from the Massachusetts now, only at 17,000 health. My Massachusetts here has been doing a good job actually providing support to my team, and he chunked out the Iowa. Hopefully he can finish him off with the help of my fire. My fire might actually be lethal, in fact, at this point. One tick. There we go. I'm gonna put my carrier into the cap. Arm nice and far with the torpedo bombers of the Tenzins. Now Massachusetts does have a 44% torpedo bulge, which makes him unattractive, but uh, he does appear to have turned off his AA for some reason. Unless I am hallucinating that the few AA puffs you do see are from the Smolensk, so I guess he accidentally hit his... I don't even remember what the default hotkey is. P? I think it's P. Might have changed after the 
sector button, which starts off as tilde. I have mine toggled to V, so this is why I'm less sure, but I think it's P. I might have pressed P by accident and turned off his AA. We got a flood on the first pass on the Massachusetts, in spite of his rather impressive torpedo bulge. So we're gonna go after him with the D4Ys, just looking for a follow up fire. Don't really care about the damage. Continuing to score some decent torpedo damage onto him. I would slingshot onto him normally, but he has his AA off, remember, so we are just going to take advantage of that fact and farm some damage. He's going to take out my Puerto Rico without using his secondaries, uh, which is interesting because the secondaries are one of the best features of the Massachusetts, so if he's wondering why his secondaries aren't bloody firing, well, it's because you turn them off along with the AA guns. Enemy carrier does drop him a fighter, but we score our fire and four bombs, so now we can pull out of there. We have what we came here for. I'm going to try and conserve what boost I can as we approach the Smolensk. Normally there would be an overlapping AA, but again the mass has his AA off. Smolensk maneuvering pretty heavily, but he has to angle against me and my allies, so we'll see what he prefers to angle against. My hull is under attack, hit the Smolensk with a single bomb, not going to bother continuing. Looks like that fire on the Massachusetts for whatever reason did not last that long. Finally resecure the cap advantage, you can see even though we're up a crap ton of boats, we're only up about 150 points thanks to the early cap deficit and my Razvoy's blunders early on in the match. Now we have the last known position of the small ones to educate us on the angle, and we have his shells to educate us on as to his position, which should allow us to make some quick harassing torpedo strikes, trying to stay away from the Massachusetts. My stealthy Tenzin's with the 6.07 kilometer detection range coming into play there. We hit only one torpedo but it's enough to score a confed. So it tells us we need to aim a little more toward the edge of the smoke. I'm gonna rake the smoke. Hit him the two this time and scored a flood. Oh, overturned a little bit though. Holding down on the air brake to try and correct for that. Relaunch. Let's see if he can deal with this pesky Smolensk. I hit him with another two torpedoes, and I dispatched Smolensk in the smoke screen. Massachusetts of his AA off does die. Now we have firm gap control, and it's fairly straightforward from this point on. Now this was, of course, a bottom tier game, but it wasn't the hardest matchmaking. So. Not too impressed. As you can see, the Kaga still has quite a few planes. I have every single rocket plane ready. Only use them that one time. And then still a significant number of high explosive dive bombers. Only the torpedo bomber squadrons are a bit bruised, and even then we still have 26 out of 36. So we only have one more dive bomb. 12 of them are, of course, in the air, hunting for this Lexington. Now the Kaga. Has this, holds the distinction of being a particularly special carrier amongst the tier 8s in terms of having this large 12 plane squadron because what this means is that against enemy carriers she can tank the self-defense fighter of 4 to 5 aircraft and still have aircraft left over even after that fighter trims the squadron. She is of course the last ship so I'm going to expedite my trip onto her by popping the engine cooling consumable. You see that Lexington self-defense fighter there, for example, five aircraft, which means it's going to kill five aircraft in this squadron by itself. He's also dropped several self-defense squadrons on himself. Oof. As my allies do dent him. 
so as a result I'm unable to demonstrate that, but looks like he might catch a torpedo to the rear. And he does. Nice. Glad I was able to capture that. Fairly simple game, 132,000 damage, 23 torpedo strikes, 16 bomb hits, 3 planes shot down by hull, 4 incaps, 3 kills, 4 fires, 4 floods, 13 spotting rims, 11 rocket strikes, and 3 planes interdicted by fighter. Team score wise, 2200 to top off the scoreboard, I am a bottom gear carrier of course, so I was able to inflict a lot of damage against higher tier ships such as that small ones, that is three two-thirds of the smallest HP there and also Iowa HP and Henry HP so definitely acquitted herself quite well and of course the 8k opening on the gearing that we unfortunately had to let go but eventually he did get himself into trouble damage wise mostly torpedo damage as you can see I released 42 torpedoes landed 23 of them so roughly 50% hit rate and 80,000 raw torpedo alpha there and then other than that, 30,000 bomb damage, and then dot-wise, not too much, unfortunately. But yeah, that's just a quick fresher on to the Kaga. Still a great workhorse, even in the modern metagame. Module-wise, running very simple modules. Slot 1, aircraft, slot 2, aircraft, please give me more options. Slot 3, torpedo bombers. Modification 1 for the extra 5 seconds aim time. And since I'm abusing my workhorse torpedo bombers, I put on torpedo bomber health, but they do have access to that heal, remember, so it's perfectly valid in my opinion to take bombers modification 2 if you would like, and have a slightly more balanced loadout. And then last but not least, because of the huge reserves of the Kaga already, plus 2 deck space is much less attractive, so instead I opt for concealment expert so you can be more aggressive with the hull, or concealment module so you can be more aggressive with the hull. And be very, very aggressive with the Tenzins. As you saw, you can get the Tenzin down to 6.07 detection. And this also puts your hull down to 9.9 .9 detection if you take Concealment Expert. Now, Captain-wise, I'm running my Hakuryu Captain. That's why there's Site Stabilization here. So you take your Core 9 skills of Plane Servicing, Torpedo Acceleration, Aircraft Armor, and Survivability Expert. Then you take your Last Gasp, Improved Engine Boost, and Concealment Expert. Now, uh, the Sight Stabilization is important for dive bombers, particularly for bomber aiming speed, so this is most important for APDBs, which have a very precise and finicky aiming requirements. The Kaga, however, uses HEDBs, so it's much less picky. I have Sight Stabilization because this is, in fact, my Hakuryu Captain, as you can see. So that's why it's important there for just the snappiest possible APDB drops. However, site, stabiliz site stabilization is far from mandatory. And if you're specializing more for randoms, you can take away site stabilization and instead take improved engines, uh, probably direct action center as well. And last but not least, you're gonna have one spare useless points, so usually I would put in the priority target. That's definitely a build I've run before, or you can take Adrenaline Rush plus Improved Engines, though Adrenaline Rush on aircraft these days is kind of poor. Alternately, if you're specializing your captain for just specifically the Kaga, you can take Direct Action Center plus A, uh, plus Demolition Expert since she has HEDBs and HE Rockets. However, I think Plane Speed is probably better, so I prefer the plane speed into whatever you want to spend your two points on. Anyhow, that was just a quick fresher on the Kaga. Uh, it's been a little while since I last featured her, so I thought I'd run down a game. I ran another one earlier, unfortunately I apparently had my audio muted, so we're just recasting now. In patch 0 0.811, this is going to be the last day of 0 0.811. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that bottom tier Kaga match, and I wish you well into the game of patch 0.9. I'll catch you all later. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.